Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have a big parcel that's arrived today and I don't know where it's from and I don't know what it is because I've been waiting for it. Yay! It was ordered on Valentine's Day, the 14th of February. So this is my Valentine's present to myself. <laughs> Uh, it will be just no, don't worry. Um, so, yeah, but there are hopefully 15 items in this bag. So I, ham, I am going to... I am? Ham? <laughs> I am going to have to split this up slightly. So let's get into this and have a look and see what we've got, which is the best way to open it. Let's go from this end. Okay. It took me quite a while to come. What date are we today? Uh, 14th of February, I think we're the 11th, the 12th of March today, so nearly a month to come, which uh, is quite a long time for these companies, but anyway, we'll see what we've got, so let me, oh, look at that, look at that haul, look at all those in there, oh, okay, I'm back, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> In a phone call in the middle of my video in and I've only just started so yeah this is uh, my haul look at all those we've got a, a box one and we've got quite a few paintings and quite a few different bits so I'll pick out this, um, possibly shall I take out four or five we'll see how we go um, and we'll get those and it's the 11th today I have just looked on my calendar it's not the 12th so I'm all out with days don't ask me <laughs> Okay, so what shall we get? We'll get one, uh, two, well that one seems quite a big one, two, three, okay, so we'll have a go at doing five, so I've got three paintings and two specials and I'm trying to work out what this is so we'll have a look at this one first just pop those out of the way I don't want to do this in too many because she'll be sick of seeing uh, oh, I haven't told you where they're from have I <laughs> okay so this is a massive haul from fgnormal.com um, they're I have paid for these, as I say, they are the treat to myself, so we'll have a look through them together. Um, I do know what's in the package, because I have printed out, I say I am getting organised, I do know what is due to arrive, but I don't know what's in them um, as to what I've ordered, so we'll have a look through together. Let's say this is a, a smallish one, and perhaps, but I haven't ordered any key rings, so I don't really know what this is. Um... Let's have a look. So we've got ooh, quite a few bits of twine, string there. We've got a very basic toolkit, pen bolt wax. Yep. Okay, so what are these? Oh, I do know what this is. Okay, so these are fish. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest looking fish you've ever seen? Um, I think that's a hippocampus, a seahorse. We have, uh, that's a, oh, look at that groovy starfish. <laughs> it's got a bikini and sunglasses on. Oh, that's ridiculous. That is so funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then we have another fish. So we've got three fish, a seahorse and a starfish. And this is a mobile. Uh, it's not quite what I was expecting though. Um, hmm, okay. And then we've got lots of special drills, just gems there. So I was expecting it was going to be on chains like the other things. And what you do is link them all together. They've got a little, um, they've not been punched out, but they've got little holes top and bottom. And then you just hang them from one to the next to the next. I presume you'll maybe loop it through and put a knot, albeit then it's going to show the other side isn't it so that's going to be fun to do they are double sided they're exceptionally sticky but these were i think because they're making them in such large quantities that they're just slapping that glue on and putting the covers on really quickly 
um, so it squidges out the sides and makes them really sticky so they will have to be sealed they are going to hang in my bathroom anyway with my lovely turtle picture but I just thought these were a bit of fun I think these are really funny and that is just hysterical I mean that is just the best ever I would, I would have bought it just for that a starfish with a bikini on and sunglasses <laughs> You can see on the edges where they've cut it really fast. If you can see there, it's got little black bits and that's the laser where they've cut them through really quickly and it just singes the edges. So hopefully that will come off. I'm hoping that's just going to be the plastic that's on the top. But ooh, these are really, really tacky. But yeah, so we've got a fish, pink fish. Goodness knows what that is. I'm presuming it's a fish. Uh, at this moment in time it really could be anything but I'm presuming it's a fish <laughs> I like that one that's pretty good uh, I think that one would have to go probably at the bottom um, and we'll probably put the starfish at the top and then just maybe do sort of um, starfish fish um, oh no because we really want to go no, we'd have to do it that way, wouldn't we? Unless we put him at the bottom. Maybe do it that way. Put the uh, seahorse at the bottom. So we've got pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do it that way, aren't I? And then just fasten them together. I might see if I've got some bits of keychain or something. I'm sure I have um, left over because I don't really fancy this just being bits of twine because you're going to see the knots either from one side or the other and it's uh, not really the look that I'm going for albeit keychains might rust a little bit hmm have to work that out when I do it Ooh, we've got a bit stuck in there look we've put us a little bit of plastic and it's just annoying me it's looking at me saying ha, ha just see if I can push that out Oh, come on, it can't be that difficult. No, it's well and truly wedged. I'll have to get tweezers to get that out of there, I think. Will it come? Will it come out? Uh... Oh, hang on. Where's my trusty pink tweezers? Out with the trusty bright pink glittery tweezers. Let's give that a shove. That's it. Let's get you out. Try not to break the other bit as well. No, it's not wanting to come. Right, I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time doing this, I think. Oh, 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 yay! Got it, got it, got it. Can you see? I've just got that little bit there. We've just uh, popped that straight in the bin. So now that is an open... Oh, stuck to me. Don't want to leave me. Now I've got it out. As I say, it's very, very sticky, this. And I think that is, yeah, that's that hole there. Is that that one? Or is it there? I'll have to work that one out. No, it's there. It's that one. So, yeah, they've certainly made these in a rush. <laughs> I've got to put, pop the little holes out. Oh, no, that fish has got its holes popped out, if you pardon the expression. <laughs> Just one. So that's that one. Let's have a look at this one. Where's this? Oh, no, these will be top and bottom, won't they? So this will be, I think it's that one, yet, yeah. And definitely easier to do this with your tweezers. That one there. And then this strange looking fellow here. It's a bit, very, very strange. I know you can get the, the like, are they rainbow fish where you get those really long, thin ones that have got sort of all the rainbow oh, colours on, hence why they're called rainbow fish. And then last but not least, starfish has got top one done and not bottom so where's the bottom one must be that one. Oh, i hope we have got a hole in this one. Oh yeah it's there it's that one there that's it so they're all punched out nicely ready to do and i'm covered in little bits of plastic right so let's just have a quick look at the gems quite um well not many gems we've got um, the dark green crystals there which will go on bottom fish and we've got your lovely orangey colour there and red which I'm presuming is going to be yeah, bikini on starfish <laughs> and uh, the blue for the fish 
and we've got a nice bag of silver now they don't look dusty a lot of the ones i've had recently are dusty but they don't look dusty so that's good and then a lot of little 310s your blacks just for your highlights and the glasses and then look at that hot pink hot pink is the starfish going to have hot pink on it we have to hope so i like the starfish she's my favorite so yeah that's quite a bit of fun uh see how much that one was so that one was a four pound this is this one was a four pound and 99 pence which you've got sort of five little projects haven't you well if you count them as double-sided like craft buddy do which is a bit naughty uh it's ten projects <laughs> ten things to diamond paint but it's actually five items five little uh fishes and things so pop that back in there put my uh, tweezers over there and just see if i can just find any more of these bits that twinged all over that'll be good going up the hoover it'll make a change from diamonds and jewels won't it so that's our little starfish and everything and let's have a look at the next special okay now then as far as i know this one's for easter yay it's coming up middle of Where's the end? But oh, it's there. Middle of April. I think it's round about the 15th-ish. Uh, something like that. So we've got a few weeks to go yet. But I don't like to do an Easter display now. So take that out of there. Um, we've got the same toolkit. But this time we've got, what, one, two, about four or five little grip seal bags. Okay. And we've got our gems here. Looks like all standard gems. Oh, no, we've got some bags in there. And bags usually indicate that we've got some extra specials. All right, we've got oh, that's quite clever. That's like an Easter egg. They've uh, put our stand in here, um, and then you get the extra stand as well. Now these I've learnt actually have uh, plastic over the top, so you take the plastic off, and these will stick together, and that will then hold your project together. And this one, if you can see, is an Easter bunny. And how cute is he? He's a lot bigger than I expected. In fact, he's quite a bit bigger than I expected. Wow. Okay, so he's got a lovely face. I thought he was really pretty. Uh, it's a little grey and white bunny. And he's painting Easter eggs. Yay! Do you paint Easter eggs with your kids? I know we have in the past. Uh, way back when, when I was at school, I won an Easter egg decorating competition. And that's a few years ago. Goodness me. Right, I know there's certainly some wonderful ones now when you look online. Although I do wonder sometimes, are the kids doing them or is the, par is it the parents? <laughs> I'm just going to give this a quick measure. So he is 24 centimetres. That's a big bunny. Uh, by ooh, about 17 and a half, 18 centimetres which if you want it in inches is about six and three quarter inches by about nine and a half inches. So yeah, it's a good size this. And again, it's got a plastic cover on it like uh, most of your special drill projects. Uh, and then you just literally lift this up. It's, oh, that's a good, I like that sound. It's sticky. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to take the sticky off. Um, it's sticky where the little numbers and everything are and that shows you where all the drills go. So he's, apart from these bits here where his stand is, he's sort of fully completed. Lovely. Oh, is that, well, his eyes aren't and his little nose. He hasn't got any on his nose. But that's really pretty. We've even got the little fingers here, look, holding onto the egg. That's cute. They look lovely colours. And then he will just slot into the stand. I'm not going to do it now. Uh, but he will slot into the stand and then I could stand him on my mantelpiece and have a bunny smiling at me over Easter. Yay! Oh, I like that. That's really good. So let's have a look at these drills. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Okay. So let's have a look at these. Ooh, we've got a lot of colours. A real lot of colours. Goodness. Okay. Put those to one side a minute. So what have we got? Uh, that's 17. I've got 20 different gems and colours in this, so that's good. Let's 
So we've got two different blues, which will give us a nice contrast. We've got a pink and a hot pink. Another one with hot pink. Oh, I'm liking these. Now, they look dusty to me. They do look dusty. Um, it is something that I... It just is getting on my nerves at the moment, having dusty drills. <laughs> it just means you can't pick them up very well. Um, you tend to then get a layer of dust on your wax or whatever it is you're using to pick up your gems. And then you have to clear that off before you can start picking more up. It, it's uh, annoying and I'm not quite sure why, why. It must be a batch that they've got or something. And then we've got a nice peachy colour there. And another, oh, that's an aqua blue. And quite a yellowy gold. And a deep green. And another blue. Lots of blues on this. I wonder if the bunny's blue then. No, it can't be. Is that, what number's that one? That's number five. Let's have a look. No. Oh, he is. Number one. Oh, the bunny's blue. All right. So it's uh, blue and silver, the bunny. All right. Well, that's different. Okay, we've got a blue bunny. Must be cold. Mind you, it can snow at Easter. Um, I have been camping at Easter and it has snowed. So, uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, my friend woke me up at two o'clock in the morning to tell me she was dying of hypothermia. If you wouldn't be telling me you were dying of hypothermia if you were, just put another blanket on. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm very grumpy if I've woken up from my sleep. Very grumpy bear. Uh, right, we've got a purple there, a couple of reds, and another purple. And that's a very, very deep purple there. I like that one. Oh, and look at those. They're pretty. They're like aqua teardrops, but with uh, an iridescent coating put on the top, an AB coating. And then those little gold ones that have like got the silver on the bottom and the gold facets on the top. I like those. I've got quite a few of those. They look really good after you know, the seaside painting and it was like a rope. And they looked really like a rope going around when they were all put together. And then let's have a look at our three specials. So we've got oh, little pearl teardrops there. They're nice with an AB coating. And we've got a uh, half sphere pearls there as well. They've got the iridescent pearl coating. And then some little pink, hot pink. Well, not quite hot pink, but nearly hot pink. Little teardrops there as well. So there's some nice, nice colours in this one. Let's see if we can get it back in the bag and put it away. It's got a long snake, this one. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Oh, I was never any good at folding maps either. You know, when we used to have maps. Anybody that can remember the days before we had uh, sat navs in cars? Yeah, we used to have that. Paper maps, goodness me, I don't know how we ever survived. Don't know how we ever got anywhere. <laughs> okay, and pop those in there. And then I am going to put him back in his bag with this because it's quite a good bag. Save on bags. Okay, so that's a bunny. And a couple of gems at the back there as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the first painting and see what we've got. Where's my squizzers? Okay, what does that say? See you or uh, something? Oh, I don't know. That looks a bit uh, like a dog lead or a hangman there. Mm. Okay, oh, how much did Bunny cost? Let me tell you, how much did Bunny cost? Bunny cost £7.99. Now, I'm not sure whether I got any discount or whether there was any buy five, get one free or something like that on this. I'm just telling you the prices as they are Oops, on the website at the moment. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Oh, don't want to come out and yay this win is three falls to a knockout all right so what have we got oh look. oh yeah i remember this one oh let's flatten it out a bit we've got a little sloth oh and it's got flowers in its hair 
I thought actually this one was quite sweet to possibly go with uh, my bunny one that I did um, for smashing the specials because uh, that had flowers in its hair although it had a lot more flowers but this looks like it's got like a flowery pattern behind it as well and it's got such a smile oh yeah i must stop when uh, the smashing the specials event is on i must stop looking at other people's paintings and then going on to websites and looking at special drills because it's uh, very addictive i do like my specials but this is what i would call a full coverage special because it's not just um sort of drills in one place it more or less does cover the whole canvas um so there's just sort of like little patches sort of the eyes and bits here and a couple of bits on flowers that aren't fully covered but the background is practically a whole canvas to do so they do take quite a bit of doing um, look at that face how can you resist uh, my granddaughter and my hubby both love sloths as well they watch all the programs about them so yeah it says it's 30 by 40 uh, but we will give it a measure if I can find my tape measure, I've just put it down somewhere. Okay, and it is 13 different gems and colours. So let's have a look at this. Yes, I reckon it's going to be about a 24, 25, yeah, 24 that way. So is it 34 this way? Yeah, by 34, which is... 13 and a quarter inches by nine and a half inches so yeah it's the canvas size your actual picture size you part where you put your drills uh, that you're working on is it always on these uh, well i've not come across one that's not anywhere from the budget uh, friendly sites uh, it's always that little bit smaller because of the edges but that's fine um as i say i quite like that because then when you put it in a frame you can put a backing on this and it just enhances your pa painting a little bit more standard toolkit again no baggies with this one so but that's okay um, so i do donate all those so into these Did you see that? I opened it straight away. <laughs> hey, right, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. Start at this end. <gasps> We're starting with a hot pink. Oh my goodness. So that's three out of three. Oh, look, it's got um, a scapee in there. Look, we've got a large faceted gold gem that's escaped into there. Wanted to join the pink party. Don't blame it. Then we've got a green, then we've got like a paley champagne gold and a few browns, which will probably be our little sloth. Oh, look at that smile. I just love it. And some of your standard 310 black. And ooh, lots of those little teeny tiny teardrops all in gold. Look at those. That is a big bag. There's going to be a lot of teeny tiny blazing. And then we've got some little red marquees there, which I presume will be for the flowers. Okay. And then, oh my goodness me, this must be the background then. So, we have... Oh my goodness, look at all those. We've got large faceted pale pink uh, rounds there. We've got two bags of medium size uh, pale pink. And then we've got three bags of your small pale pink. So that is going to be the background with the three different sizes to give you that sort of different different effect background rather than all just the same size. And I say, I do like my specials and I do like doing these pictures. And then finally, oh, look at those, like those. AB coated purple teardrops. But look at that, they go blue and pale pink and purple. And then just some of your standard uh, marquees there in the silver. So, yeah, like those. Wow, that's a lot of pink. This is going to take some doing. This is the sort of one that I make it up. Um, even though it's only 13 colours, this is one that I may use 
you know my like lipstick storage as it was if you saw that in one of my videos i may use that to do this um, because of the amount of pink i'm going to be stopping and starting a lot it's not going to be one that i'm going to do all at once so let's pop those away and we'll have a look at the next one. Oh, it's exciting this it's like christmas <laughs> Okay, so that's sloth. Let's put sloth away. And oh, this is a squidgy one too. This is a squidgy one too. Feels quite flat, maybe another special. Oh, how much do you know? How much was sloth then? Sloth was. Oh, I can't see it on there. £5.49 so that's good £5.49 so let's see what we've got the next one I've got a funny feeling these might all be special drills but I can't honestly remember oh no they're not all special drills there's one very very special one that's very different okay so you'll have to wait and see where we get that one and when that one gets filled it's another one so let's see what we've got scissors out the way oh yes oh yes um i ordered actually this one to go in my bathroom with the smaller one as well uh but then i saw my turtle which i got uh, from diamond dot artistry and i decided that one's gonna go in the bathroom instead but yeah i just loved this i just thought i need something just a basic toolkit again there okay uh yeah i need something to brighten up my bathroom walls and I thought this one was uh, really nice. It's one of those um, where it's in a frame, but it just spills over the frame slightly. So once it's framed, it will look as though it's like coming over the edge. And I just thought it brightened up my bathroom wonderfully. Uh, it may go in the downstairs loo. <laughs> these back a little bit you do find with specials that because they're only slim and there's not much to wind them around you do tend to get big creases on them that take just that little bit longer to come out but if you give them a good flatten on something heavy most of the time it does come out but look at that we've got like a is that a clown fish like a nemo type fish and we've got like, like sea urchins and starfish uh, we've definitely got a theme going on here rabbits sloths and fish <laughs> this is like a jellyfish up here look that's pretty and then all your different seaweeds and sea plants and everything and different shells oh this is going to be lovely the color palette on this really fresh really bright oh i've just had a drink of tea and i think my milk's just starting to turn and it just tasted that a little bit nasty yuck oh yuck right that's another trip out then today to the shops i won't mind but it's only the 11th today and the milk's got a date of the 13th and it's been in the fridge so it shouldn't have gone off just yet that's naughty okay so let's have a look at these gems oh that's a nice color look at that that's a definite orangey gold fish color that one isn't it really pretty like that really like that color nice and bright and cheerful and we have ooh, some silver, plain silver with some reds that have escaped into there, look. Oh, in fact, oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, these are all muddled up. Oh no, look at that. Oh, hecky thump. Now do I sit and sort all these out? I'll have to let them know anyway. But these packets aren't sealed at the bottom look so we've got silver and red all mingling in together there and then it looks like the reds have stayed there but those three greens are all mingling into one all across the bottom and if you can see the packets they're all in fact there's some of these pale greens are right up there so yep and then we've got blues look that are escaping across here Oh dear, so none of these bags are sealed at the bottom. They're all, ooh, they're all open, so that means I better be careful because, oh no, it's sealed there. 
but it's not sealed at this end properly so i'll have to be careful with these so yeah that's going to be fun to do to sit and sort all those out <laughs> to be honest i probably will as well um i'll try and work out which color is which there are slightly these are like the lighter colors um, and that's probably the darker colour. So I probably can work out what they are. That's probably the yellowy green. That's probably the paler green. And then these will be the darker one. I could even just put them in a tray and work that way and do them all at once. Because by the time I've contacted the company, I mean, I will let them know. But by the time they've sent me these three, I may have done it anyway. And I've got lots of silver and I've certainly got lots of red. Um, so yeah, not too disastrous. The blues, yeah, yeah, but that's not brilliant. At least they were separate. Mind you, they would have been easier to pick out. But oh dear, that's not very good. So sorry, FG Normal, you do lose a point for that one. Right, and then we've got some yellowy gold and some round faceted uh, medium size and large size of the silver there and they've got the iridescent coating and then I've got three marquees all in the same size with a lilac colour, a greeny colour and then the fire ready purpley colour at the end there. So nice gems, nice picture but that's not very good with those gems. I'll just get those put back in there. So that they don't escape. That's not good for the uh, the gems are escaping. They obviously wanted to just have a massive party and all join in together, which is great for them. Just rubbish for me trying to do the picture with the different colours. Okay, and last one. Oh, this one feels a bit better. So let's have a look at this one. Right. Oh, this one feels quite fat. Okay, the fish was £3.49. So, yeah, because I suppose because it wasn't the full coverage, um, it's a little bit less because it's not got as much gems. But, yeah, £2, quite a big difference. But, anyway, so let's have a look at this one, see what this one is. Ooh, this looks like it's a full drill. So you see, I don't always just do parcels. Ah, now then, this is the special one. This is really different. Okay. So I have seen somebody do one of these before, but I wanted to try myself. And this is a mixed media one. So we have our pen pen button wax and a few little baggies not many and then we have drills paints and paint brushes so this actually is a painting by numbers and a diamond painting all together how about that different eh? combining different projects different crafts now this hasn't got a lot of painting by numbers on it because it's not something that I am really into. Uh, this is quite a standard picture. This uh, moo cow has been around for quite a while. Uh, and I, I love cows, I think they're pretty. I think they've got gorgeous big eyes that look at you. They're so gentle and so soft. But yes, I thought, oh, I'll have to have a go at this. Uh, it'll maybe inspire me to do my other painting by numbers that I've got. Um, which I wouldn't have if Cubby decided to actually do them himself. But he decided once he got them, couldn't be bothered. But I will get I will get him into a hobby. If I can't get him into diamond painting, I'm going to get him into something. Maybe I can get him to do these bits for me. So we have your normal full drill canvas. Uh, or it would be full drill if it didn't have the painting by numbers bit. And you have your normal painting by numbers all around the edges so the sky is going to edge the little cow in the different paints we've only got four paints so that's good we've just got your four colors and they are vacuum sealed which is really good because that's going to stop them coming undone and drying out 
very pretty colours like the aqua. Let's see if you can get a little bit of extra there. And a pale blue and then like a greyy blue and then like a, a practically a white with a little tiny bit of blue in it. I'm not going to open this because I'm not quite sure when I will get round to doing this one. But yeah, so you just literally look in. We've got one down here, which is the darker one. We've got three here, which is the second pale one. And we've got four across there. So where's number two? Oh, number two was there, just under its chin. We've just got some highlighting under its chin. Uh, oh, and we've got some number three there as well. So that's going to take quite a bit of doing. Now, I would suggest... Mm, see, they've not... Normally with dime, with a uh, paint by numbers, you do quite often, or most of the time, get like a picture of it with the different bits on. I think I would be in um, inclined to either take a photograph or uh, photocopy this part particularly because I would do the painting first. Otherwise, you might get paint on your drills. Hmm. Albeit, if you paint over the glue, you're going to have problems. So maybe it would be better to put your drills on first. Oh, this will be interesting to do. What would you do? Would you put your paint on first or would you put your drills on first? So these are quite big patches. They're not really going to be a problem. But that is quite sort of two mixed colours there, if you can see that with that three. Uh, sorry, that one and that two. It's going to be quite a bit that's very, very close to the drills around that, its little chin there. So, yeah, that will be really interesting to do. There's 24 gems on this one, which is just your standard uh, acrylic drills. And it, I just think the colours are gorgeous. That's the actual picture. Um, so you'll be diamond painting the moo cow with the flowers in her hair and round her. And then it's the background, the blue that you can see around the background that is actually going to be painted. So how about that? A hybrid craft. They did have quite a few different ones to do. So if you do want to go and check this out. one cost me £6.49, which actually, when you consider that the sloth was £5.49, you're only sort of paying a pound extra for the paints. And you do get two paint brushes, which are quite a good size. You've got your slightly larger one. What's that about? Half a centimetre and then a very fine one there. Again, I'm not going to take them out. They are just a standard paintbrush there so let's have a look at these gorgeous drills they're gonna look lovely against this pale blue background but yeah so anybody maybe that's into either diamond painting or painting by numbers and wants to get into the other craft this is one maybe to get them to uh, do that do the crossover yeah i've not seen them on any other sites i only have seen them on FG Normal so far. Now then, let me just measure this because this does look a little bit bigger. So there's 30 by 40. Um, this tape measure. I wish I could find my Scotty dog. Oh no, it is only still 25 that way. It just looked a bit bigger than the other one. Maybe it's because it's got the uh, different edges. And it's... 35 that way so it's still only the same sort of size but how pretty is that and she gorgeous right so 24 colors you've just got the key code at that side there all dmc numbers which is wonderful so we have two lovely bright spring yellows Two purples, a nice one. cherry red, two oranges, two blues, it's like the art, this isn't it? They're all going in two by two. Two greens, another like that's a very dark purple, that's a lovely green there, and a pink, and another oh, three blues this time, and two pinks, and that's what number is that? 20. 20 is 3758, like a peppermint cream green colour, and like a pinky red, another couple of blues, and that'll be B5200, yeah, that's your bright white. So, very good. 
but yeah when i saw this i thought oh shall i get it shan't i thought no i do want to have a look at it i do like trying different things i like oh, drills seeing different things and seeing how things work out Okay, and I am going to put those in there with that as well for fitting. Oh, I'll put paintbrushes in as well. Okay. Right, so quite a mixture there. So we have had a hybrid craft mukau and some lovely special drill fishies. And a very smiley, gorgeous little sloth, along with a very happy bunny, and a few little fishes. I'm not going to take them out again, but that's your little fishes there as well. Okay, so what do you think to a hybrid craft doing diamond painting and? You're painting by numbers all at the same time. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed looking at part one with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see the rest of the haul and see what I get up to next, then if you press the subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon.